Hey, it's Dr. Maharaj Jassil Subramanian over here with uh, one more video at around 5 a.m. It's actually 4.54 a.m. And uh, no, today is not one of those days or nights uh, when I got up early. Rather, it's one of those days or nights where I've been just working uh, overnight. I had a client call uh, going on for some really good time, some back-end work and all those things. In fact, I got my client calls uh, tonight, got over at around 3 a.m., 2 to 3 or two, two, eleven, two, three, to be more precise. So yeah, I've been working some days. It does happen. Some nights it does happen. And I just continue to keep on working. And what is it that I like to quickly share over here? And what is it about? It's like, are you choosing when to stay awake? Are you staying awake because you are pursuing your dreams, or are you staying awake because uh, you are stressed out and frustrated that you are not able to go and live your dreams? Exactly. You know, a couple of weeks back, I had a person coming over and asking tips in terms like how to have better sleep uh, and having the sleep disturbance and all those things. One of the things which I've seen, again, uh, this is not a medical advice. This is more like, you know, something uh, of a cell development perspective for me in terms like what I personally feel is that when you don't go behind your dreams and you don't live your dreams, Sometimes you have to live it full on, sometimes you have to live it at least a part of it, a bit of it. And when people lose out on it, then they go through a lot of stress, consciously, unconsciously, subconsciously, because of which they end up having a lot of stress-related illnesses. And personally for me, professionally for me, I've seen a lot of people who have had, you know, like, uh, suffered from a lot of problems because of the stress of not going and living their dreams. And, or you know like killing their dreams not even giving it a little bit of space like some of you may have dreams which you may not be able to live fully can you live a part of it as in like you may be wanting to be a full-time businessman however your family commitments your financial commitments and all those things may put you in a scenario where you may not be a full-time businessman you have to be an employee so what i mean like can you go and help a businessman can you do something entrepreneurial within your job can you at least do something during the weekends or something like that? No, that's a question only you have to answer. And coming up with people who have the courage, who have the scenario, who have the support, who have the systems that's helping them to go behind, uh, go and live their dreams, go and work on their goals to make it a reality, whatever may be the goals, you know, how much you're focused on it. Now, this need not be only about entrepreneurial goals. This can be even lifestyle goals in terms of your friends, in terms of your health, in terms of how do you look physically, in terms of your relationships, in terms of how do you feel about yourself. All those things are important. And over there, for this video particularly, I want you to focus on three things. One is about, you know, worthiness. The goal that you seek, do you feel you're worthy enough? To achieve it now who decides whether you're worthy or not it's not it's not always about your action it's not always about the circumstances it's not always about like uh, how much you really deserve rather than how much you perceive yourself to be deserving as in sometimes it may be like okay i'm not at good enough to have it however i'm worthy enough to have it both of them are different how are they different when you feel you're worthy enough to have it you can always you know like go back go and do the work that's necessary, go and learn it, go and execute, and then go ahead through the progressive journey of going and realizing your goal. So that's something different as to are you really worthy right now to get your goal, to achieve your goal right now. You can always go and start a journey to achieve it, for which you know, like you have to feel you're worthy enough. A lot of people don't feel worthy, yet they have the circumstances, they have the right circumstances, they have the right support, they have the right resources, they have the right money, everything is there. However, just because they don't feel I'm worth it or, you know, I do deserve it, just because of that, they end up doing something. What do they end up doing? They end up sabotaging it. Right? A lot of times we go through, you know, feelings of shame, guilt, regret, I'm not worthy enough. Uh, I can't have it because of this reason. I can't have it because that person told me and all those things or feeling bad about it or having some negative thought patterns about what you want or negative disempowering rather than saying negative, I'll call it as disempowering thoughts, belief systems or emotional systems 
wherein then people lose out on making their dreams, making their goals a reality. So that's something that you want to check upon in terms like are you sabotaging your own success. Then we have the third scenario where people don't go ahead and realize their name, something that you know like especially I have seen I myself seen you know like work a lot in terms of my life. I had to work a lot and have my own series of breakthroughs to be able to achieve a lot of my own goals. What are they? For example, in terms of uh, you know should I, could I, what if, but all these questions, what if this happens, what if this doesn't happen, why should this happen, why should not this happen, I want it but this is what is the scenario, what if I fail, what if I lose, what if it ends up in a ridicule, what if you know this happens, what if that happens, what if I go behind this and I don't I lose out on my health, I compromise on my lifestyle. All this, you know, like what ifs, fears, fears of fear, fear of ridicule, fear of success many times, uh, you know, like, but then this one is there, that one is there. I'm stuck in a maze of too many priorities, all these things, you know, it, it's, it's, it forms a sort of a, again, a negative loop, a negative feedback system within your mind and keeps on shouting at you, wherein then you don't go ahead and make your dreams and realize your dreams. So what then flip all the three? Number one, if it's a goal which is worth achieving, believe that you're worthy enough to achieve it. If it's not going to harm anyone, if it's not going to harm you, if it's something that's really, really, really beneficial, a lot of people, you know, like some people I have come across have goals which are harmful for them, harmful for others or harmful for both the parties involved or, you know, many people involved. I'm not speaking about those goals. However, if it's a worthy enough goal, Believe that you deserve it as long as you are also ready to follow through with action of what needs to be done. So work on your worthiness uh, as an individual. That's something, you know, I personally feel is something very, very, very important. The personal sense of self-worth to be able to learn, go ahead and achieve what is it that we said to achieve. That's something that's very important. I see a lot of people who could have been successful, who wanted to be successful, but they were not successful because they just didn't feel good enough, worthy enough of themselves. They didn't feel the confidence, they didn't have the right self-esteem, self-image. Because of which they, you know, like, end up sabotaging it. So don't sabotage. Let go of any cobwebs within your thought patterns, belief pa belief systems and emotions. The disempowering cobwebs, the disempowering thoughts, the disempowering emotions, the disempowering behavior, the disempowering habits. That is something that, you know, like every single individual according to me has to learn to identify, acknowledge, appreciate that yes, it is serving a purpose. It is serving of a purpose of keeping you safe, of keeping you in a survival mode. However, moving forward, you have to learn how to achieve the same benefit, the same payoff of, you know, having the survival, having that hidden unconscious benefit through an empowering way and at the same time, let go of the disempowering element so that you can go ahead and achieve your worthy goal and of course the third one is to catch yourself observe yourself and catch your inner talk where you have all this fears what if could have should have uh, this ha could have happened that could have happened what if this happens what if I fail the fear of failure the fear of ridicule the fear of shame all those things you know like make your life really good that's something that's very important and when you do it and when you do it, then you know, like you put yourself in an accelerated mode for going and achieving your goals. And that's something that's real phenomenal. So this is what I wanted to share. Uh, of course, I might have come across a little bit of sleepy in this video. The volume might have been low. I need to check it out. However, uh, you know, like this one is something that I felt I needed to share it, document it, uh, especially for some of the people to whom this video has to go whom I know and also for people whom you may know who may want to understand that yes what are they doing in terms of their goals are they feeling worthy about it uh, are they giving it the right worth and respect and are they feeling this themselves of being worthy of going and living going and achieving their rightful dreams their empowering dreams which can do a lot of good for them and also for others so it's about the self-worth it's about uh, you know, letting go of self-sabotage and actually putting yourself, setting yourself up for success and letting go of any disempowering thoughts, emotions and belief systems and behavior systems and habits and actions 
which are in the maze of, which are based upon the cobwebs of should have, could have, what if, but fear of success and all those things. Clear those three things, let in a lot of positivity and energy into your life and go ahead and achieve the success, the dreams and realize them and live a great life. For your success, this is Dr. Maharaja Sivasubramanian signing off. Have a great day. Bye.